Yo, gotta get some good hip hop in the morning. What up, my peoples? What is happening, man? It's already like 59, almost 60 degrees. You know what I mean? I put the heat on in the car to warm it up, and now it's too toasty. I love it. Everything is beautiful. Everything is beautiful when the Knicks win like this, man. You know what I mean? Oh, man, the seven game winning streak, y'all. Y'all lucky I didn't do it. Y'all lucky I didn't jump into the car last night. You know what I mean? At 10 o'clock at night and just drive around the block just to do this video because I was literally that excited. I really, really was like that excited, guys. Oh, man. I mean, listen. Dare to dream, right? Dare to dream. But these guys are, are, are doing it. You know, they're just, I love this team. This is the type of Nick team that I will always, always, always put my, my, my arms around and embrace. And I'm not embracing the success. I'm embracing the work ethic, the commitment from the beginning of the season. The, 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 the wherewithal and the resilience during some of the rockier periods this season. You know, we, 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 it was beautiful. You know, we came, we come together. We believe in each other. You know what I mean? And you, you see it. You see it every, every game. You see the adversity come. And you see them push through, weather through. That's what you're seeing with this Knicks team. I mean, because Charlotte, even with Charlotte's injuries, dude, Charlotte showed us last night, Charlotte ain't no punk. Them Hornets are serious. They just right now making young mistakes. You know what I mean? The mistakes that we were making to not win games in the middle of the season are the mistakes they're making now. And some of that is due to Gordon Hayward not being on the court. It is. You know what I mean? I wouldn't say LaMelo. But LaMelo is an engine that gets their offense going. So when he gets back, you know, between he and Rozier, they'll they'll be a little bit better and crisper. But again, LaMelo is still a rook. So when it comes to the playoffs, I don't know if that's going to be a bonus or a hindrance. You just got to be real with that. You know what I mean? Same with Quick. Same with Obi. Matter of fact, to be honest, the only two people on our team that have real playoff experience are uh, Derrick Rose and Taj Gibson. So, and, uh, and the coach, of course. But, you know, Randall has sniffed it. Elfane sniffed it. RJ, obviously, you know. You know. So, that's going to be something as well for us to go into when we go into the playoffs. I'm not sure how much playoff experience the their coach has. Uh, James Borrega, I, I don't think he has a lot either. So, you know, I'm now I'm just kind of gauging my conversation towards the playoffs, to be honest with you. We've got what, 12 or so games left in a regular season, nine games in May. And honestly, all of these games, because of the way that the Eastern Conference is built, all of these games coming down to that, literally the end of the season, are going to be meaningful. And not just for the Knicks, for Boston, uh, Atlanta, who we face tonight, you know, uh, the Heat. A lot of these teams, man, still fighting for position, trying to figure out where their positioning is. So... This is, now, Adam Silver, you might want to take a lesson from what this season is teaching us. This season is teaching us that unless super teams do everything 100% down the line straight, fans are actually going to lose patience with them. And for the teams that are homegrown, built up, 
and fighting from within, so to speak. Those teams are actually more appreciated by fan bases, I believe. And we're, I, I, yeah, just what I'm seeing in this whole New York thing, you know, all of a sudden, New York radio is waxing poetic about the Knicks, like left and right, and it hurts me because they'd be the first ones to kill us about everything. Everything. You know, that's why Nick and Tater even had to jump on and do a quick car video himself about Michael K's nonsense. And trust me, I know what that life was like. <laughs> Ooh, that Michael K, boy. But anyway, yo, we are right there. We are in fifth place as of last night. Fifth place. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And we got a chance to be in fourth place tonight. And because we already have the tiebreaker over the Hawks, if we win today and our record stay kind of tied, we got it. We could literally. And this is the craziest part, ladies and gentlemen. Fourth place means we have first round home court advantage. The Knicks, us, could possibly have first round home court advantage. And we officially, as of last night, the win last night, we officially have a winning home record. We can't jack that up, even if we have a string of losses, which we won't. But we officially have a winning record at home. And it's about damn time we protected the garden. You know? And I'm very proud of that, man. You know, I mean, I'm proud of our team. The season is not over yet. But I could, see, I could easily wax poetic right now about the entire season. <laughs> you know, I mean, they have really done the darn thing. And they continue to do so. I mean, did you see RJ last night? RJ said, I don't care. I'm not hitting shots in the first half. That don't matter. I'm hitting shots when they matter. Whoa. Whoa. You know what I mean? And Randall, of course. Now, Randall didn't score as much as he does sometimes. And that's fine. Because winning plays, is that's what we need. You know what I mean? And we don't need Fast and Furious over here doing what they be doing. But, you know, folks is crazy. About not caring about their lives sometimes. There was a wild accident yesterday uh, when I was on my way in right here on this one man, three cars. I mean, cars spun all over the place. It's crazy. And today, people still flying. <sighs> I digress. Back to the back to the next. Yo, I'm yo. Oh my God, it's it's great. You know what I mean? It's great to see the uh, Twitter family coming together the way that we are. You know. It's beautiful. This is what happens when we win, and it's great. And I, I'll say like this. I don't necessarily like going through all the ugly that we had to go through, but if that's bringing us to this better place, I'm glad we went through it. Because this, this, this is sustainable to me. You know what I mean? This is highly sustainable. And we don't need, you know, stars and heroes and stuff. We just need to keep building what we got and build on what we have to just to make it even better. One thing though, one if there's one complaint I got, and you know I don't complain, but at this point it's we get into uh, the playoffs. So this is where I need our guys to start really stepping up, especially those who don't get a lot of minutes. Because when you get your opportunity, you really got to do your thing. So that you can get toned up and ready for the playoffs. And I, I I got love for Kevin. But Kevin Knox was ticking me off last night with that defense he was playing. I mean, well, every, he was like consistently the only guy like looking lost out there still. Like, why are you lost on D, bruh? Why aren't... I mean, there was a... I believe it was Taj who had went for the defensive uh, 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 stop on the guy coming into the paint. And Kevin was right there and came in halfway. And he stopped. 
And because he stopped, the guy kept going and scored. If Kevin just kept going and put his feet up, I mean, put his feet in place, maybe he gets that stop. Maybe he, uh, maybe the guy still goes around him, but maybe the guy misses the shot, something. But to have the idea to get there, but then don't get there. Dude, and then you get you getting you getting torched in the back doors, man. You getting torched in the back door plays. And again, these are the things we need to shore up going into the playoffs. We can't let easy, easy, simple baskets go because you looking at the wrong thing or knowing what to do, just hesitant to do it. You gotta get that hesitancy out you, bro. I'm not worried about you offensively. I'm really not. Kevin Knox is nice offensively. I ain't worried about that. But your defense is entirely too suspect. And I'm actually, I know why Tibbs took Obi out to let you play, and I get it. It's y'all both there to rest Randall and all that, too, while Alec Burks is out. But at the same time, it's giving you a chance in the second half of these games to show something. And Obi is about to eat your lunch, to be honest, because quietly, Obi keep doing good things. You know what I mean? So, Kevin, get up get get up into this defense, man. You know what I mean? Extend yourself. Get that a football player. Come on, man. Come on. Shoot. But other than that, man, Reggie Bullock, yo, love you. Love you all, man. Love everybody on the team. Team is great. We are having fun, Nick fans. We are going to the playoffs. Whoa. You know what I mean? I, I truly want us to get... That fourth seed. Now, I'm gonna tell you know what I'm gonna tell y'all on Saturday how I really feel about how far we can go. I'm a that's a little teaser for Nickabaka Ave, by the way. So check us out Saturday. Me and Daddy B doing the thing, uh, talking nothing but next. Oh, and not this week, but next Saturday, May first. Jay Macri will be in the building on Nickabaka Ave. With me and Daddy B doing the big. It's great. Uh, tonight, matter of fact, Danny B is coming on the Candid Corner. So please check us out tonight uh, on CandidCorner.com and YouTube. You know how to find us. And Don Will of Tanya Morgan will be in the building. I'm really excited, man. So check us out tonight. We're going to be stone cold chilling. All right, y'all, one love. I will holler at y'all tonight, and I'll see y'all on Twitter. Peace.